So when doing this problem, it says they want you to find the degree of the angle when your sine of your angle equals one half. So they want to say, what is my angle? Well, to do this, I know you guys have your unit circle and you're like, oh, well, that's easy to find. But I'm going to go back from my unit circle from memory. And there's three points we want to work with. 30 degrees, 60 degrees, oops, and one that's 45 degrees. All right? So if you guys can memory, memorize these three points, you don't need to keep on looking back at your unit circle. So at 30 degrees, we said it was square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half. 45 degrees was square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. And for 60 degrees is 1 half, comma square root of 3 over 2. Now remember, each one of these points has an x and a y coordinate. Right? So then, Callie, since they, all three of these points have an x and y coordinate, um, Remember, sine represents your y-coordinate of your point. So where is 1 half my y-coordinate? 30 degree angle. Right, for my 30 degree angle. So you can say theta equals 30 degrees. Okay, so that's all you have to do for those types of problems. Make sense? That was question number 37. Yes.